though the city of Abilene made improvements to this intersection three years ago. They said that whenever they put that out there, it's for safety reasons and stuff. This local business owner says he has a front row seat of what he calls a driver's worst nightmare. I'm scared to death one of these days someone is going to get hurt really bad out there hitting that curb and losing control of their car. With the help of the Transportation Enhancement Program, back in 2013, the city of Abilene spent about $900,000 to add this median, the lights, and crosswalks. When they first put it in, there was probably not a week that went by that there wasn't at least one, oftentimes two or three cars that would bust their tires. It's a very big hazard. Now, after speaking with Gresham, he also told me that the most recent accident that happened right here happened this past Friday. He said as soon as the SUV hit this median, it damaged both of its front tires. Several that have blown front and rear tires out that we know cost probably several hundred dollars to get fixed. Really good for the uh, front end alignment business, but not so good for the people who are driving the cars. Mr. Rose mentioned that prior to the beautification, there were smaller medians back in the 50s. What they put back in is wider than it used to be, and it actually wider than it needs to be. And due to the amount of bad accidents, Good Time Auto's owner added a camera. Just so if someone ever does wind up getting hurt, it's, I've got it on tape. They, they could have made the medium smaller. I don't know why they didn't, but they didn't. So. Both businesses told KRBC that though the drivers need to be careful, they still wish that the city would have added something different. Whenever you're paying attention trying to watch the other traffic and you don't pay attention to what's already in the road, it makes it that much worse. Amber Tribe, KRBC, Avalon's Local News.